Sunday morning, weekend's over, tired of living, problems on my shoulder. Sunday morning, mama's in the kitchen, daddy's in the bed, young I lay last night, oh, Sunday morning, home. All right, we're going to get into it. We're going to go straight into it. How long you been making music? Oh, man. About just 30 years. About 30 years. 30 years? Yeah. It's about 12. 12, Reed Rainbow. Reed Rainbow and Michael Jackson got his hair burned and shit. <laughs> that dude made me start doing music. Wow. When Michael Jackson got his hair burnt. Yeah. And I was sad, so I made a song for him. What kind of song you made? What's the name? Uh, it's like uh, Under the Blue Umbrella, uh, Under the Red Umbrella. And I made the song the opposite. And I made the song just kicking it, just doing poetry. And then um, I was like, but in fucking eighth or ninth grade, and the teacher was doing, it was like poems. It was like um, Robert Frost and Emily Dickinson and shit. And I looked at that, it was like blank poem, it wasn't rhyming. And when I took to it, it was just something that took over me and I just wanted to do blank. And then also, people were rapping at school and they were doing the battling thing, Roxanne Chante and all that shit. So I I wanted to be a part of it. So I did a Sparky D song and I used to do Sparky D. Sparky, Sparky D. D, okay, you yeah. You can't hang with me, Roxanne, you fool, girl. I'm jumping all over you. I'm light skinned, educated, educated. I think I'm better. That shit, so, and then eventually, I started doing my own shit so we could go to school. So people used to jones on me because I didn't have a bunch of clothes and I had, I wasn't as cool as everybody else. Girls didn't like me like everybody else. I was good, I was funny, you know what I'm saying? But, Music was the thing that made me like popular, you know what I'm saying? Not the way I dress or nothing. Like, even after I started dressing, music was the thing that kept me grounded, kept me popular, and kept me being somebody. Like, my name's Swig. My homeboy gave that shit to me. He was writing. Um, What's your homeboy name? My homeboy Rice. My homeboy Rice. Shout out to Rice. Shout, Shout out, to, out Rice. to Rice. Poverty Stricken Minds, SOPs. Uh, SOP. For real, forever. Um, and I became of a crew. I became in a crew, but I started rapping. I just started battling because I, when I first rap, I couldn't write nothing but like about, about two or three lines of rice used to keep saying like, write more, write more. And I like, well, don't come back to me unless you have a whole verse. And then when I had a whole verse, don't come at me, you have two verses. Like, don't come at me, three verses. And by the time I wrote the three verses, he had went to jail for child support. And then I had some money from a, a girl I was dealing with. So I had to take care of his family for a second. He was a small, whatever. But, um, when he came home, I had a whole album and I did it on it. <laughs> and he still wouldn't listen to it. So what I did was, once I started writing and after I made the album, I said I was the best. When the I best? Started, and when I said I was the best, I had to prove it. How you I, proved it? By winning. Okay. That's why I don't freestyle. Let me ask you a question. I'm going to get straight into it. 1994. Five, I think, mid '90s, something. The song, I think, it was called um, um, Tim Boots and Hair Dude. Tim Boots and Hair Dude. I was there. I witnessed it. <laughs> it was a, the girl D. Yeah, yeah. Every year we would go to the talent show, and we wouldn't get nobody would get picked. And this is my second 12th grade year. I passed, nigga. I just like, so everybody, so and all of us was going in for the talent show. So I said, you know, like, why don't all us get together? And we got a girl here. Light skin Leroy. You know, we, we, I said, what are we gonna call her? I said, Tim Boots and Hairdo. Hairdo. That nice hairdo. So I like, she was from New Shondi. Sean, Sean. Yeah, so boom. So boom. I like, all us had on Tim's. It's crazy. I never had good clothes until I got about 11, 12 grade. It was Tim Boots and Hairdo. And they said, okay. So we went up there and said that. The, they said, I got, after I moved to Columbia, when I was in, when I was in Sumter, I rapped a certain way. I still, I was musically inclined, but I wasn't good. I didn't perfect my craft until I moved to Columbia. But then, uh, you know, we did 10 Boots and Head Dudes. Man, the first a, time some shit like that ever happened. It was a beautiful night. I was there to witness it. I I'm telling you, man, that was, that was you know, butter, man. I was like, man, shit, people, people still say something about that. And I'm, I, that, I was like fucking 18. But people still say something about that to this day. 
And okay. I'm 42 years old and, I, and I'm still to eat their ass up. This is the art test. This is the art test. The art test with Swig. Will he get an F or will he get an A? With the artist, you want to get an F for feeling it. Y'all feeling it? I'm feeling it. He feeling it. Yeah, Here feeling we go. That. We're going to get in with the next question. I got to come left field. We come left field with it. SOP. What you, what's the first thing come to your mind when you think about SOP? Family. Family. Life forever. Forever. I don't give a fuck when I'm, I'm 40 to 56, but I'm 66. SOP. How you feel about ill, son? Oh, Quinn Odom. Mama Odom. Brother yeah. Odom. Yeah, like, um. His brother do the artwork down yeah, in word, Atlanta. I, I was there at his yeah, house. He got a house full but, of um, art, but what Quinn, ill, son. Odom, um, he made the crew what it is. He made, like, even though people branched off, and everybody doing their own thing and people different or whatever. He made it what it is. Can you, you know? give us I don't mean to cut you off. Can you give me a ill son story? What 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 oh, he, he means so much, man. He meant so much. Man, I remember him and John, my, my, my best friend to this world, man. Like I you know, like I got a bunch of best friends, you know, everybody say, but the boy John, little head. Um <laughs> Him and Quentin used to come to my house every, so I had my own house like kind of early. And then, then we end up getting Scotty over there to do the song. Um, it was the song when I said, um, I said, um, shoot, um, I said, my Rusty 32 busting against, you know, my Rusty 32 busting like a Western flick, dick and many clicks, SOP on some other shit. Um, we were talking about the, the show we had where the man, the man didn't um, give us the shit. He gave us the um, award and we won. You know what I'm saying? Battle of fake dead lost in Terror Town. So many figures and big talking kids do selling weed for time. Um, but um, during that time, he was better and he was smoother. You know what I'm saying? He just was, and then we really didn't understand his worth till he was gone. You know what I'm saying? And, we all um, miss him. You know saying, saying that to say this, R.I.P. Quentin. One of the founders of speaks, SOP. Man, also, speaks, also speaks, man. Like, Morioso. Oh, man. On an everyday basis. Every day. If I got a beer in my hand, I hold it up to Mario. Let me tell you, man. That's real. That's my brother. Um, R.I.P. to all the R.I.P. Uh, art test. This is real. the art test. We just shot a video. Uh, the uh, song. Give, give him the name of the song. Oh, Mikeology, the study of a microphone, baby. Making up words, nigga, that's how we do. How the video, how you feel about it? Oh, man, this is like my first experience shooting a video, and <laughs> I've been waiting to eat y'all ass up. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think you did that. <laughs> I think you did that. Uh, my name Lee. <laughs> Swig. Nigga, for real, I ain't nothing to play with. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. Oh, but still where I'm still eat y'all ass up now. You know what I'm saying? So to do this and my homeboy, you know what I'm saying, my brother doing what he doing. The art test. You know, and like to have a platform is everything. Everything can happen. You know what I'm saying? Even if it don't just make money, I ain't even trying to do it to make money. I'm trying to do it to like speak and let you know what real music is and that shit from being from down south and we talk like this but i eat your ass up red bay yeah red bay represent east side nigga for real something columbia ah, something nigga hey hop town everywhere hop town. hopkins you know where Florence, we at right Bishopville, now all us man Spartan, york north whatever the fuck you want to call. everybody Saluda, you know with saying? maya charleston you know what i'm saying Talk real. you know conway you know what i'm saying yeah hey, it is what beautiful. it is yo it's beautiful it's we, really beautiful we the best nigga my we foot i got a black toe motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> what, what if you could describe music in an art form like how would you describe llama beans one of the cds you made how would you describe the songs you made, like the one about your mother, the one we just shot, what's the art behind it? <laughs> I ain't never heard nobody say that. Art test. Yo, um.